Hello, folks. I can't believe winter is sneaking up on us. We actually had snow on the ground this morning. You might be able to see a little of it, but I was worried because it's supposed to be clear later. And I can't image when there's snow on the ground. All the light pollution, and even now with the moon being out, it, it bounces off of the snow and comes up to the point where it jacks up my ADU so high my data is not usable. I go through this every winter. When there's snow on the ground, I don't even bother. But I'll, most of it melted, so I, I think I'm good. But it's still cold. And I've only got my wide field set up out today because I don't think it's going to be clear all night. And I don't want to go to the trouble of running two rigs if it's not clear all night. It's just a lot of work. And um, I did finish up a project on my other rig, but it, it's over 30 hours. And I'm a little frightened to process it. I didn't see any data coming through with the subs, and it's going to be tough. And I, I didn't feel like starting it yet. So I'm still on this one. And uh, it's the Spaghetti Nebula. It's a giant supernova remnant that is so big, it probably would have taken me nine panels to fit the whole thing. So I'm only going to do one portion of it um, in HA and oxygen. And I'll see how it comes out. Uh, I hope it looks pretty good. Now, usually supernova remnants look really good with just two filters, HA and oxygen, like the Veil Nebula or Planetary Nebula, like the, the Dumbbell Nebula. So... Um, I'll see how it goes, but if the weather does improve and it looks like it's going to be clear all night, maybe I will take out my second rig. I'll, I'll have to see. Hi, Kane. At the dog next door is, loves just watching me. It's, it's too cold for you to be out, Kane. I, I hope they let you inside soon. So, anyway, I'll see you later. Okay. Um, I'm looking at my surveillance right now, and the weather did improve, and I never rolled out that second rig. I, I knew that would happen. I would get lazy. Uh, I should have just rolled them out right at the beginning, and then I would have done pole master on both, but, you know, it was cold outside, and, you know, as the night goes on, I start to lose my energy, and I'm really sleepy right now. It's after 1 a.m. But there's the wide field scope. It's pointing at the spaghetti nebula. And uh, that's the live view. And I, I did have a visitor again. Every night I get visitors. And this time it was a rabbit. They never touch anything. That, that impresses me. They just go about their business and leave my cables and everything else alone. All right. Bye-bye, bunny rabbit. Okay, let's take a look at my SGP session here. So this is what my guiding looks like, and right now it's 0.81. It was better earlier. Some Every time I want to record it, it seems like you guys never really see the guiding when it's at its best, because it was a lot lower than 0 0.8. But I can live with that. I, I'm sure the stars will be round. So... Um, anyway, let's take a look at uh, my SGP session. Okay, so I've already captured around 10 hours of HA, and um, I can definitely see the Spaghetti Nebula with 10 hours. I don't know if going more will, will help any. And now I'm doing oxygen. At, you know, I always show you guys a normal gain 75, 15 for oxygen and uh, for for HA Unity Gain 139.21. And let's take a look at one sub. I I knew it. I knew it. It was going to zoom me out of that. <laughs> it, the funny thing is, I was closing it and then opening it, and it was fine. But as soon as I make the video, poof. It, yeah, that's crazy how the, the time it works. Yeah, I'm rambling. Forget about it. I'm just tired of that box. Every time I close it, it zooms me out of SG Pro. All right. So anyway, it's driving me crazy. And I'm a little bit delirious. It's 1.30 a.m. and I want to go to sleep. <laughs> All right. So as expected, I knew I wasn't going to see any data in one sub for oxygen. This thing is faint. 
And uh, but I did see data in one sub for HA. This is what an HA sub looks like. So uh, I think there's hope. I do see a lot of people capturing all three narrowband filters for this target, but I. I like just HA and oxygen for supernova remnants like the veil and I think it, it has a lot more, a much more natural look to it. So I'm just going to do that. And uh, let's see, the main readout for oxygen right now is 1385. And I, I, I'm doing a big no-no right now because I'm doing oxygen when the moon right now is over 80% illuminated. You really don't want to do oxygen while the moon is that bright because it has a lot less light pollution protection than HA and sulfur does. But you know what? I'm, I want to finish this object tonight. And so uh, maybe I'm sacrificing a little bit here, but we'll see how this comes out. Um, that's all I got, folks. I'm going to go to sleep. I will see you later. Thanks for watching.